Bears general manager Andrew Barry um, talked about addressing the leadership on the defensive side of the ball. I think the bigger focus is effectiveness of leadership as opposed to necessarily style of leadership. So ultimately, are we getting the results and the outcomes that are desired? And I think also the other thing is like, you know, people are leaders in different ways, as you mentioned. Um, so, I, I, again, I, I'd probably more focus on effectiveness as opposed to, hey, you need you know, X amount that are in this way, X amount are that way. Um, so. And, Jeff, that goes to the quote-unquote vocal leaders that the Browns uh, did not have. For whatever reason, something just was not right on that side of the ball pretty much all year. No, and again, we, we all started, started week two in the collapse against the New York Jets. And but there was weeks, look, where it was a secondary issue, the New York Jets game. There was a week where there's weeks where it was, you know, linebacking issues, the Atlanta Falcons game, which Shady even Clowney and Miles Garrett didn't play. Uh, there were weeks where the fact that you didn't have enough of defensive tackle. So the problem is it's you know, it's hard to lead when essentially maybe every room had their issues at the at, at the time. And the other thing is leadership is a great, great word to have, but it doesn't necessarily equate to victories. This is something everybody wants to pull out when a team is not playing well or a team is not performing well. Normally, where does leadership come from? Teams that have experience at winning, and then they develop the leadership from winning. So you just don't walk in with it necessarily like people want to believe. Um, so it's it's tough and it's a catchphrase. A lot of it also needs to come maybe from, you know, in, 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 obviously for this case, the defensive side of the ball, it needs to come from your defensive coordinator. But your defensive coordinator was having his own issues as well. So even if you were trying to lead, who's to say necessarily that anybody is listening or anybody is willing to follow? Um, look, leadership, yes, it's key component. But I think the more leadership that develops within a locker room, develops within a team, comes through winning ball games. If you're going, if you're not going to win games, there's always going to be questions of leadership. There's always going to be questions of whether or not a locker room is divided or not. Yeah. You know, winning creates, uh, cures pretty much everything. Losing creates a lot of problems.